question ten and not a look. Same equation, but earlier we did decimals, right? We changed all the fractions to decimals. Sometimes、uh, we're just lucky that、um, all the fractions turn out to be nice decimal numbers. For example, if you have one third, you actually get zero point three 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 three. So in that case, it's actually、um, you want to work with fractions. So this is my second way. So let's say, uh, I'll just say, just work with the fractions. So four over five plus parentheses negative three over ten equals to x plus one and one half. Uh, first, positive times a negative becomes a negative. So I, on the left hand side, I have four over five minus three over ten, and that's equal to x plus. And let me change this mixed number. Right here, we have one and one half, which is a mixed number. Let me change this mixed number into an improper fraction. And the way to do that is the denominator first. Stays the same, so we still have the two. And then you are going to take the one times the two, which is two, and then add one on the top. So together you have three. So let me make a note right here. You take the one times the two, and then plus the one. That's how we get the three. So you kind of want to work with uh improper fractions. Mixed numbers, it's not that useful in my opinion. <laughs> Okay, especially in, in algebra, you don't really see mixed numbers anymore. So change that to、um, improper fractions. Okay, so how do we subtract fractions right here? I have four over five subtract three over ten. Make sure that we have the same denominator. We want to get the same denominator first. So LCD will actually lowest common multiple of the denominator. So let's take a look of the five and the ten. Notice that if I multiply five by two, I can also get ten. So the lowest common multiple of the denominator is equal to ten. This means I want to change these two fractions to something over ten minus something over ten. So for the first fraction, let's take a look. Five times what will be ten? Five times two will be ten, and I need to do the same on the top. So four times two is equal to eight. So that's the new look. This is the new look of four over five. And for the second fraction, it's already something over ten, right? I have the three over ten already, so I have the three right here. Just bring it down. So on the right hand side, I still didn't do anything. So let me just write this. Okay, and right here, once they have the same denominator, we just need to、uh, subtract the top. Eight minus three, which is positive five. So I have a five. So all this together becomes a five over ten, which is equal to x plus three half. And what's five over ten? I can reduce that, right? So five goes five. Five goes into five once. Five goes into ten twice. So technically, I have just one half. It's equal to x plus three over two. So right here, x plus three over two is equal to one half. I need to get rid of this number. Which I need to subtract three over two, and to subtract three over two on both sides, so they cancel, and I get x right here. And、uh, let me write this down horizontally. I have one. I want to subtract. Sorry, I have one half. I want to subtract three over two. They are they already have the same denominator, so I just need to take the one on the top, subtract the three on the top. One minus three is equal to negative two, and the denominator stays the same. So negative two over two is the value for x. And what's two over two? It's equal to one, right? Two over two is equal to one, for one. So here we have、uh, one, but however, a negative times a negative divided by a negative, sorry, a negative divided by a positive, it's a result of negative. So we have a negative one is equal to x, and that's exactly what we got earlier. So negative one is equal to x. X is equal to negative one. And I will show you guys the third weight in the next video.